Hello, good morning. I thought I would take you along on my relaxing, reading-esque, reset kind of Sunday. I've got to do some laundry. I'm gonna make a half-baked harvest slow cook recipe for dinner. It's coq au vin, which makes it sound very fancy, but it's basically just chicken thighs in the slow cooker with mashed potatoes, carrots, and this delicious red wine sauce. So I'm gonna do that. We are cutting down a tree today in our front yard. So my parents are coming over, our neighbor, old neighbors are coming to help us cut it down. That'll be interesting. We'll explain more later this afternoon. I'm gonna read my book, have some coffee, meal prep for the week ahead. Really just get organized. Um, yeah, so let's go. my office. I changed out of the white sweatsuit because I got coffee on it. Classic. This is why I can't have nice things. It is currently in the wash and then I just changed out of my red sweatshirt and put on this cozy gray hoodie. It's actually from my own bookish merch line. This is the Literary League embroidered. It has author names on the back and then I'm also wearing my own book club forest green hat. My hair is on day three of needing a wash, so I just decided as I run around, do some errands, I would put my hat on. So I had a really nice relaxing morning. Right now I'm just planning out some of my meals for the week. Usually I pick one cookbook and try to do a couple recipes from that during the week. Today I am making a half-baked harvest coco vin with Parmesan mashed potatoes and the slow cooker. I'll take you downstairs and show you kind of all of that prep. But then for the rest of the week, I'm just kind of sorting out if I'm out for dinner or we're actually home, what we have, and then the groceries we need to get. So I'm gonna do that. And then my parents are coming over and our old neighbors, they're super handy and have all the equipment to help us cut down the world's ugliest tree. We actually Googled what is the world's ugliest tree. Basically when we saw the house, there were no leaves on it. It just looked like this Whoville tree that was hit by lightning or something. It was all spindly, completely bare branches. We we're like, oh, that's an interesting kind of eyesore. And then we came back a few weeks later and it had all these dark purple, they looked black leaves all over it and it honestly looks like a weed not really a tree that has grown up so high it's perfect for halloween because it looks like something out of edward scissorhands but it's definitely a bit of an eyesore and even there's neighbors across the street they're kind of like the ogs of this neighborhood they've been here since the beginning and they're the kindest elderly people and we were talking to them on the street the other day and in the nicest way possible they were just like oh we're so happy to get that terrifying nightmare on elm street type tree 
and they're across the street so they're actually the ones looking at it at their window most of the time but yeah it's our first kind of landscaping foray we're not very handy and we don't really have a great green thumb although i do have to water my plants i will do that later too i'll see you in a little bit i'm gonna meal prep and go get that slow cooker stuff ready bye Half-bake harvest, slow cooker, coco van with parmesan mashed potatoes. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but look how good that looks. So hopefully that's what it looks like, presentation and all. <laughs> we'll report back. All right, let's try this out. It should be pretty easy. That's the point of a slow cooker, so hopefully it really is. Putting the chicken in here, adding thyme, parsley, garlic, salt, and pepper and then a bunch of veggies, the red wine sauce, chicken broth, and then you put the potatoes right into the slow cooker, which I'm really excited about, to soften them up and it'll be easy to make mashed potatoes at the end. So let's see how this goes. This is my clever cooking hack. I got Jeff to pre-chop the onions for me because I always cry and he, for some reason, is like Iron Man and doesn't cry when he chops onions. So he just put them in a bag for me, which was really nice and saved me a lot of time and tears. And we really try to keep our plastic to a minimum. We don't use the block that much, but I will be reusing this for future onions and veggies. I want to make that clear that I'm not normally using single-use plastic like that. Potatoes. Then after you salt and pepper them, put the lid on. And they said between like five to six hours should be good. Can't wait to see the finished product. Okay, got the man of the house here. <laughs> and I've been thinking about this day since both the second we moved. Uh, <laughs> you haven't been thinking about how happy you are to live with me, our wedding. Oh, nope, no, down. just the tree. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Things are happening. Yeah, I like it. Oh. You think? Yeah. Here, I, I hope concur. so. Yeah. Hello, we're back. I'm back in 
inside after that crazy productive day of all that <laughs> minimal landscaping and yard work. It looks so clean and fresh and I'm really, really happy that we did it. And I'm so kind of my parents to come over and neighbors to help us. They're the best crew. They brought Tim Hortons and it looks beautiful. We cleaned it all up and it just looks so clean and nice. They're saying that it added to the property value, but I'm so happy with it. In the spring, we're gonna put down some new grass. I think we might plant some hydrangea bushes. We have some in our backyard and they're beautiful. And just to fill in some of the sparse places where we trim the hedges or pulled weeds that were growing and we mowed the lawn, we raked all of the leaves. It looks awesome. And I don't know, I have a newfound appreciation for doing yard work. When I was growing up, I always moaned and complained about raking the leaves or shoveling the driveway, but it felt like a very productive way to spend a Sunday. I feel good, I was outside. The sun was shining, it is overcast and a little chilly now, but it was the perfect fall day to clean up our front yard, make it look a little bit more presentable, less like a crazy jungle. I do love the ivy and I love plants and everything, but it definitely looks more put together and less of an eyesore. And it makes our lawn look double in size. So it looks really, really nice. And then some other things that I've done today and this afternoon, I haven't picked up and filmed. I did a little quick meditation, a Melissa Wood Health workout, just to stretch and I was feeling a little bit anxious Sundays sometimes that happens. That's why I like cooking on Sundays because I find it gives me something else to focus on and doing laundry and all the chores I feel productive but it's been a busy couple weeks and it's kind of picking up still so it's good I love being busy but definitely a little bit anxious so did that, moved my body, stretched, meditated. And then I actually had a Facebook giveaway in partnership with the June Motel. So we picked the winner. I announced the winner today, posted that on social media. This weekend's also been pretty busy. Jeff and I went to the Leafs game, which was really fun. They lost, but it was still super exciting, high scoring game. And then I went to a different drummer bookstore because my book was selected for Women's History Month. If you don't know me or you don't know what the book is about, it is about Elizabeth Arden, the woman who pioneered the modern beauty industry. So there's a real woman behind the company, if you've heard the company name Elizabeth Arden. It was really nice because when my book launched, it was in the midst of COVID, bookstores were closed. You couldn't even go in with a mask. No one was allowed. So I just love, and I'll never take for granted, walking into my favorite indie bookstores and I signed a bunch of copies, which was amazing. Got to meet readers and people coming into the shop and get to know the owner of the store. And then also what I haven't filmed today, I've been working on my new book project. I feel like I can't really talk about that just yet, but I do plan to do some vlogs down the road showing you my whole book binder, how I do character profiles, how I outline, how I plot my books my research and how I write it scene by scene, kind of my writing whole writing routine. Let me know if there's anything specific writing related that you'd like to know, writing craft or routine wise. I'm always happy to share because things that I think are just normal or how I do something might be interesting for somebody else or different. And I always love to learn how people set up their office, how they set up their book binders, how they write. So now I'm gonna go down, check on the slow cooker. The house smells incredible. I'm gonna take out the potatoes and I mash them with Parmesan, a little bit of heavy cream, just a little, butter and garlic. Super unhealthy, but delicious. It's supposed to be a bed of the mashed potatoes and then from the slow cooker you dish on top the chicken thighs, the carrots, the onions, the mushrooms, and some of that red wine chicken broth sauce. And it, there's all those spices in there. There was thyme, bay leaves. I'm excited to eat that. And then maybe take a bath or just shower, do a full skincare routine. Put my pajamas on. I think I wanna read some more. I'm really enjoying Fight Night by Miriam Taos. I'm actually almost done now. I just 
have been reading through. I love the voice. It's just really funny and witty. I am really enjoying it. So I'll read a little bit of that and then maybe just wind down, watch a show with Jeff and then call it a night and wake up tomorrow, rear in to go for the week ahead. Okay, so let's go make those mashed potatoes and it's time for dinner. That's it for me, good night.